Now, students, welcome back to English 3. I hope that you enjoyed a wonderful spring break. Bienvenido, espero que la hayan pasado muy bien. Ahora es tiempo de trabajar. What I want you to do now is either on your smartphone, open up the Google Classroom app, or on your computer, just go to classroom.google.com. And you'll find a, a screen very similar to my own. For example, here you can see I'm um, pretty much enrolled in three classrooms. For example, Mr. Hazard's example classroom that he created for us teachers to start learning the software, basically give you a wonderful class. You have my English 3 class, which, which is a course you will be taking. And finally, my English 1 course for my English 1 students. Some of you will be having two classes with me, so don't worry. For this video, I want you to click on Sanchez English 3. Entonces, hagan clic aquí, por favor. And now, I want you to scroll down to where it says, Welcome to English 3 for this final semester. You'll be able to find a welcome video that will load up the moment you tap or click on the video. Okay, so I'm working on making the videos a little bit sharper in quality, so hang in there. Now, once you're done viewing the video, click on Classwork. Entonces ahora, podemos ver todos los trabajos que nosotros tenemos que hacer. You'll find that the ones in gray are ones that I have that I assigned but are still not available. Every morning at 7.30 a.m., you'll be able to find the content for that day. As you can see for this week, the work you have to turn in will be due no later than March 27th at 4.36. So this will give you enough time to complete it, also enough time for you to uh, learn how to use Google Classroom. Now, si alguna persona necesita una extensión en cuanto a todo esto, como muchos van a estar aprendiendo esto, al igual que nosotros los maestros aquí en Austin Can, entonces por favor me pueden mandar un mensaje. Feel free to reach out to me just in case you have any trouble or you require a minor extension. This happens every week, I will have to say, you know, probably not. But the first few weeks, we're all going to be flexible. Now, I want you to click on English 3 lesson. As you can see, the dates may change depending on when all of our students are enrolled. So for now, I've enrolled all of my AM English 3 students. We're waiting on the final word for my PM. But I want you to click on this one. And you'll be able to see that on a separate window. I actually have this open twice. So what I want you to do now, once it finishes loading, ya cuando haya abierto, hagan clic en present. And so you can see here, it says English 3, Monday, March 23rd, 2020. Una vez más, la fecha puede cambiar dependiendo ya cuando nosotros, ten, ya cuando todos más bien estén inscritos. So let's go to the objective. In today's objective, I will be able to complete and summarize a Marquez reading text and also formulate a short thesis. Since this is a digital class, we will be working on a lot of essay writing and essay reading. But don't worry, students, just in case you do need help, once again, I will reiterate feel free to reach out directly to me. I'm always available since we're at home and now Austin does have a stay-at-home order for the meet for the foreseeable future. Please reach out to me and I'm accessible and I'll help you out. Entonces yo podré completar y hacer un resumen de un Marquez Reading Text y después formular un pequeño corto tesis. Let's go to the next slide. Now you do have a warm-up exercise that I will show you in a few minutes how to access. I want you to pre-read the Marquez reading text. Then I want you to prepare to answer questions about the Marquez reading. As you can see here, I've made a mistake. Thankfully, I'm able to correct it. So don't be surprised if you see minor mistakes. And now, and don't be surprised if you see me um, correcting it. So, before we continue, you can see that I've opted out of continuing on the presentation because I want us to go back to Classwork for Sanchez English 3. And now, I want you to click on where it says Marquez Reading Warm-Up. So I want you to, here, if you have this, I want you to enter. And of course, this little icon represents assignment. And now, this is going to look very, very different from your screen. As you can see, I assigned the points, who has to take it, all the students, as well as the due date, which I will change according to how many students are able to master this system, as well as the topic. So here, I want you to notice how I want you to save your work. 
all work you can save up here on any Google Doc or any Google Slides presentation. So, actually, let me show you one more time, right over here. Then after you finish typing it, look at the format. Your first name followed by your last name, actually underscore last name, underscore class, underscore period, underscore date. For example, if you're in my English 3 for second period, then you will write your name. Daniel underscore Sanchez underscore English three underscore second and then it's this is very important the date and then what kind of exercise it is in this case warm up también aquí he dejado el formato que quisiera que ustedes vieran cómo guardar y cómo entregar el trabajo su primer nombre este guión bajo apellido o apellidos guión bajo clase guión bajo periodo guión bajo fecha guión bajo lo que es entonces Right here, I'm just making a few small corrections. So, once you're finished reading through that, let's open where it says Mark is reading warm up. Now, it may take some time to load, and you may have to open a separate app for those of you on smartphones. I do recommend laptops, but I understand, especially during this time, many people have difficulty accessing um, computers, So, which is probably the best thing that you can use a computer and try to, try to get your hands on one, but don't feel bad. Smartphone, my guys on smartphones, you will do fine as well. So I want you, using the Marquez reading text, answer the following questions. For example, paragraph one, how would you describe the main character just from the information presented here? Where is the narrator from? And students, please, this is very clear in the text, but I want to see if you're able to make these inferences and identify them. And always students with the work for English one or English three, cite evidence from your text. Si ustedes no están usando evidencia del texto y solamente me están dando una sencilla. Oh, the guy is nice. See, algo así. The guy is nice. Yo voy a tener que decir. Let me change the text. No. Entonces, this is not the work I'm expecting from you. Okay, entonces tenemos que hacer lo mejor. And number two, in your own words, summarize what paragraph two is about. Again, your answer doesn't have to be, students, uh, it doesn't have to be long, it doesn't have to be lengthy or wordy. The best tip I found during high school and during my university years is short, sweet, simple. Keep it sweet, keep it simple, keep it concise, which basically means don't be wordy. So, now paragraph three. Which words best help the reader understand the meaning of the phrase top yo yacht kid? So, which phrase helps you to understand it? And immediately it comes after the comma. Usually when we're reading new words and new phrases in English text, you usually find a comma and then a short meaning as to what it could be. Now, number four. What do you think paragraphs two and three reveal about some of the challenges this character faces or has faced previously in his or her life? Once again, students, cite evidence from the text. And finally, in your own words, summarize what paragraph four is about. If you're having trouble finding Marquez reading, Click back here in Classwork for Sanchez English 3. And if you're on a computer, you can click out. And I want us to look for, I'm going to make sure to push this up. So this little icon that you're seeing, this little work that I'm, uh, that I'm dragging up here, this represents the material assigned for the day. So all you have to do here, students, is click on English 3, Marquez Reading, and then click on, or smartphone people, tap on English 3. And you'll find a personalized copy of the Marquez Reading made specifically for you. All right. Now, I want you to take a few minutes and please complete the warm-up. Feel free to pause the video, and once you're finished, turn in your work, and then unpause the video to continue. Take your time. All right, students, welcome back. I, you, by this time, you should have already completed the warm-up and turned in your work. Don't worry, students, if you're having any trouble, cualquier problema, por favor, comuníquese conmigo. Get in contact right away, and we'll get this sorted out. We're all in this together, especially my English 3, English 1 students, all of my English students, we're in this together. All right, now, if you've already finished it, let's go on to slide number four, and I will once again 
I said click and present. So let's continue. Now, in any Marquez reading, especially for new students that were recently enrolled, welcome. It's a pleasure to have you. I'm really glad that you've signed on uh, for this English 3 course in this final semester. I will do my best to get you a high, high grade, but yet I will expect work, work, work. So for the Marquez reading students, what we will do at this point is read the sentences two times. Once to build comprehension, the second time for fluency. So in this video, I will read each sentence twice. Para mis español hablantes, por favor, van a intentar hablar esto, pero después. Tiene que ser dos veces después de escucharme a mí. Pueden regresar, este, pueden retroceder en el video así para que ustedes vean cómo leer. Efectivamente. Now, feel free to follow along. Sentence number one. My hair was too short and my U.S. government glasses were too horn-rimmed. Ugly. My hair was too short, and my U.S. government glasses were horn-rimmed. Ugly. All that first winter in school, the other Indian boys chased me from one corner of the playground to the other. All that first winter in school, the other Indian boys chased me from one corner of the playground to the other. They pushed me down, buried me in the snow until I couldn't breathe. They pushed me down, buried me in the snow until I couldn't breathe. I thought I'd never breathe again. I thought I'd never breathe again. Take a few moments. Make sure you read the sentences aloud where you are, either on your smartphone or on your computer, and read the sentences twice. When you're ready to continue, please press the space bar or continue to continue to the next slide. All right, so it's ready. Let's start with the first sentence. They stole my glasses and threw them over my head, around my outstretched hands, just beyond my reach. They stole my glasses and threw them over my head, around my outstretched hands, just beyond my reach. Then someone tripped me and sent me falling again face down in the snow. Then someone tripped me and set me falling again, face down in the snow. I was always falling down. I was always falling down. My Indian name was Junior Falls Down. My Indian name was Junior Falls Down. Sometimes it was Bloody Nose or Steal His Lunch. Sometimes it was Bloody Nose or Steal His Lunch. Once it was cries like a white boy, even though none of us had seen a white boy cry. Once it was cries like a white boy, even though none of us had seen a white boy cry. All right, students, at this moment, please read aloud this second paragraph, each sentence twice. Once to build comprehension, la segunda vez para fluidez, for fluency students. When you're ready, Continue to the next slide. All right, students, let's begin with sentence number one of paragraph three. Then it was a Friday morning recess, and Frenchy C. John threw snowballs at me, while the rest of the Indian boys tortured some other top ya yacht kid, another weakling. Then it was a Friday morning recess, and Frenchy C. John threw snowballs at me while the rest of the Indian boys tortured some other top yo ya kid, another weakling. But Frenchy was confident enough to torment me all by himself. But Frenchy was confident enough to torment me all by himself. Most days I would have let him. Most days I would have let him. Please reread two times each sentence if you haven't done so already. And when you're ready to continue, advance to the next slide. Let's begin now with sentence number one. But the little warrior in me roared to life that day and knocked Frenchy to the ground, held his head against the snow. But the little warrior in me roared to life that day and knocked Frenchy to the ground, held his head against the snow. I punched him so hard that my knuckles and the snow made symmetrical bruises on his face. 
I punched him so hard that my knuckles and the snow made symmetrical bruises on his face. He almost looked like he was wearing war paint. He almost looked like he was wearing war paint. But he wasn't the warrior. But he wasn't the warrior. I was. I was. And I chanted, It's a good day to die. It's a good day to die. All the way down to the principal's office. And I chanted, It's a good day to die. It's a good day to die. All the way down to the principal's office. Now, pause here and read the sentences twice, if you haven't done so already. When you're ready to continue, students, we'll move on to the next part of the class. Take your time. There's no rush, no time limit now. All right, students, welcome back. So the next activity that I have for you is the independent practice, think, pair, share. Pero tenemos un pequeño gran problema, alumnos. We're not in class. This is technically our class. So unless you have an amigo, unless you have a colleague who's also doing this, I recommend skipping the pair portion. If you can, please look for one. But if you can't, I completely understand. So let's read number one. And I want you to focus. This is where you will write your short thesis statement. Pretend you are the author's teacher. What would you say to him after the fight described in the Marquez reading? Explain why or why not and give examples to support your argument. Now, when I ask you to explain why or why not, why would you tell him this? Or why wouldn't you tell him these things? Why would you ignore, under the why not, why would you ignore not telling him something? Entonces, ustedes son el maestro. O si quieren, puede ser el director de la escuela. ¿Qué le dirías a él? En inglés, por favor, no en español. ¿Qué le dirías a él después de la pelea que él escribió en el texto? Me vas a dar la razón por qué o por qué no le dijiste ciertas cosas. Y por favor, usa evidencia del texto para apoyar su argumento. Now, we're skipping the pair up with a partner portion. Extra points to anyone who does pair up with a partner and actually does this. Like I said, I want all of you to pass. And if you pair up, wonderful. Now, then, number three, share out with the class. Don't worry, students. I know some of you are shy, timid, and don't like to share out your answers. I completely understand. So this portion, you'll write for me. And I'll take the best answers, and we'll discuss this another day. So, where can I find a think pair share? Before I showed you, I wanted us to review what this means. So, what we do here. I'm going to escape out. I'm going to press escape and exit out of the PowerPoint. I'm going to go back to the classwork. As you can see my tabs, it says English 3 Marquez Reading Week 1, English 3 Marquez Reading Warm Up. I'm going to go back to classwork, students. And I'm going to click here where it says Marquez Reading Warm Up. For my Espanol Hablantes, ustedes pueden ver aquí que en el warm up les había dejado ya en español las preguntas. So, now, we're going to go to Think, Pair, Share. So, let's go to here. You're going to click on the assignment. For me, it doesn't appear like that. I have to enter it manually. You can see how many points this is worth. So, this is a lot. So, please don't avoid doing this work. Just click here on the Think, Pair, Share. now. The directions. Let's go through it juntos. Reread the excerpt from this week's Marquez reading. Then reflect and answer the question provided. Be ready to explain using evidence from the text, students. All right. So I want you to complete your answer. Create a thesis statement. Don't worry. This week we'll be going over thesis statements because last semester, before we went on spring break, many of you said, Hey, necesito ayuda con los thesis. ¿Qué es esto? O sea, necesito tu ayuda. Hey, man, help me out. Don't worry, students. I have a class specifically planned for that. So explain why or why not and give examples to support your argument. And here, I want you to write, I want us to write two new things you heard, learned, or wondered about. For example, or you could say, Oh, I learned... The kid likes to fight. 
this is a necessary a answer because where did you get this from the text? I mean, ¿dónde estaba? ¿Le gusta pelear? O sea, no le gusta nada. In fact, you'll find the opposite. He says, most days I would let Frenchie see John beat me up. So, uh, students, any answer you give, it has to be supported from the text. Otherwise, you're just giving me an opinion. So, you learn the kid um, allowed himself to be bullied. Maybe because he thought, as he said, a top yo yacht kid, he thought he was a weakling. So, you tell me why. So, if you say, oh, I learned about the Marquez reading. Okay, teacher, I'm finished. Let's go. Let's continue. I'm going to say, no, you're not finished. This is not an answer. This is really not an answer. What did you learn from the Marquez reading? What are you wondering about, students? ¿Qué es lo que trae la mente todo esto? Especially because we know that this story takes place in India. Entonces, ¿qué trae la mente? O sea, ¿qué aprendí? ¿Qué escuché? ¿Qué es lo que, qué es lo que quiero saber? What do I want to learn more of? So students, now, in a few moments, pause the video. And when you're ready, we'll continue to the next part of class. All right, students, welcome back. By this time, you should have completed your independent practice, think, pair, share. If you have it, please, before continuing on, go back to the previous slide and go back and complete the think pair share. Every assignment that I do give you is graded heavily. Once we do get back to class, if we go back to class, all of this will count toward your final grade. Remember, school is due to, te to finish, terminar, 28th of May. If we stay here digitally until then, I want to make sure you all pass this class. Now, for those of you who have finished, I want you to complete the exit ticket document. Remember, use your Marquez reading to guide your answers. Entonces, usen el texto. Nunca lo olviden. This whole week, Marquez, Marquez, Marquez. Now, let's go back to Classwork for English 3. So I'll click out of here. And now I'm going to click on where it says, next to the Simon icon, and it says 03 underscore 23 underscore 20, exit ticket. And for most of you, you'll be able to click on here, actually, you'll be able to click on here. View assignment, it'll give you much more details. So click on here. And before I continue, please remember how I want you to save, format your files. All of the work that you would do here from now on. Como tenemos que formatear el trabajo on the title. So you should be able to say it. If it doesn't allow you to edit, please let me know. ASAP, send me a message or send me an email. Now. It would be first name, underscore, last name, underscore, class, underscore, period, as in what period you have with me, underscore, date, hyphen, exit, ticket. So you can see an example, Daniel Sanchez, English 3, second, 032420, exit, ticket. Boom, you're finished. Usually you can edit up here, but I know Google Docs may not let you. Please let me know. So. I want you to complete this pretest. So, in paragraph one, the author most likely uses the phrase horn rimmed ugly for what purpose? So, to select the right answer, students, I want you to basically highlight the text and then go up here to your highlight color. Y seleccione el color que ustedes quisieran subrayar, quisieran usar. Or you can simply change the text color under here, where it says text color. You can change it. It's all up to you, students, however you want to do it. So, this is a multiple choice one. It only has three questions. When you are finished, students, please submit your work. Please pause your video and continue once you're finished. All right, students, welcome back. That should have been it. So, congratulations. As I said, please. Please, please, get in contact with me right away, or you can write my email. My email here is dsanchez at texanscan.org. Para algún problema, por favor, estoy a sus órdenes. I'm more than willing to help you out, students. All right, I hope you have a wonderful day. I should expect the next video shortly.
take it easy. Bye-bye.